Hello, my name is John O'Rourke. Uh, I'm a sculptor living in Whitley Bay. And um, just to talk about what I'm currently doing, which is this head. I'm currently making this, but it relates to this image that I have down here. So this painting, visual, and acrylic, I created in 2018, and it was a design for a large core 10 steel uh, sculpture of a miner who turns into a transforms into a pit head and has houses surrounding him. So it's quite a big sculpture. I still don't know for certain whether this is going to go ahead or not. They have to have planning permission and everything. And I'm not allowed to name the client in the meantime. Uh, but it's been going on for two years and apparently with big projects. That's not that unusual. Anyway, um, after doing that, I created a lot of uh, quite complex drawings about how I would make the head, which is here. And then last year, bearing in mind the first drawing was, image was 2018. More recently, this um, uh, last year I produced this one, which is a simplified version of it for another project, um, which didn't uh, come to fruition. Although I'm still waiting to hear from about the big one. Right then, um, so, with a larger design in mind, I'm working on him. This has taken me since just before Christmas, so about four and a half months. Um, it's, uh, it's got two, 127 components. I've just finished gluing it together. There's still bits like this which need to be added. I've just got them placed here. Um, but it's almost finished. When it was first made, it had all of these countersink holes with stainless steel plugs sunk in. It's oak so it doesn't respond well to uh, ordinary steel with the acid content. You get black marks. And uh, so this is the most complicated bit without a shadow of a doubt. The rest of the sculpture, although it looks complex, will take me less time. Um, this is going to be a smaller version. It's only going to be about uh, four or so feet high. Um, and the whole thing will be made of oak and um, it's going to be shown in an exhibition at The Word in South Shields next year. It was scheduled, the exhibition, for um, January, but with the lockdown it looks like it's not going to be until about March now until it happens uh, next year. I'll be exhibiting this plus the, all of the uh, pithead um, stuff that, that goes with them um, and I will also have quite a, quite a number of paintings some of which I've got in progress and I'll talk about in a minute. I've got him here actually it's a she this one uh, the um, I, I study anatomy a lot for making these heads and for example this is called a zygomatic uh, ball the cheekbone and on my sculptures I have this long continuous piece of wood going right way around, which I call a zygomatic platform. There's a building inside of his cranium, which you might just be able to see inside of there. And there is also a doorway going in here, a passage down there. You can see a set of stairs in the back in here, and it leads to a, a room behind his mouth. And uh, then that leads to a shaft going in, into the house on the inside of his cranium. Um, I'll show you the house because I can get them out. Uh, these bits aren't fixed on yet. So there is the. If I can get it to come out, that's the house. You can see it's hollow underneath, and there's a shaft there that leads up to the uh, building inside of his head. There will also be a, an opening here. On the next stage down and the passages will run all the way through the sculpture and I do that with all of our sculptures they are to do with the easiest way to express it is that to do with mysticism and an internal path of mysticism in inward looking path uh, so before I go on to the uh, painting uh, I want to show you some something else I'll just lift this up carefully put it down 
it's already quite heavy. Um, this sculpture is virtually finished, but I've got to plug all the holes. Um, it's of Robert Wyatt. I'm currently doing this painting of him. This is Robert Wyatt, famous musician. Uh, his face is pretty much done. A few more shadows that on this side. The rest of it still needs to be painted in. So I'll have quite a number of paintings. I won't be showing the Robert Wyatt uh, show uh, sculpture at the word simply because I've already shown them before and the next time I show them I want them to be totally finished with all the paintings that go with them as well. Uh, but um, this has got a very complex set of interiors which lead into a house in, in, inside of his head and uh, I posted a bigger version of this that's inside of that head because it's a much bigger head to Robert. He placed something inside of the head in a bubble wrap envelope, glued it into a, um, what do you call it, a hatch in the attic of that little building. So when I got it back, I've got no idea what it is. Uh, the only thing I do know is it makes a noise. And uh, when you move it. So um, anyway, which is typical of a percussionist, I guess, you know, but uh, anyway, this I would like to show as part of one big exhibition. Uh, the... Uh, I'm still looking for a venue for that, okay? Yeah.